for coming to the Sprinter Store YouTube. This is for installation help for your 2019 to 21 rear tire carrier. This is a 2500. If you have a 2500, the difference between 2500 and 3500 is 2500, you get three of these because these will go through your wheels and through a plate and I'll show you here in a minute. If you have a 3500, you're gonna get this little shorter one because the the 3500 wheel, you turn it inside out, so it needs a shorter one. You'll have four of these for a 3500 and three of these for a 2500, okay? So if you have a 2500, we're going to go through this. You're going to come with all these little stuff. You'll see a picture in your instructions. And um, we're going to start out with, let's see, these guys. You'll get four of these. That's a nylock. It'll lock with these little hex nuts. Those go through these things. These two will go through those two things right here. This goes into your hinge, goes inside your hinge. And then this goes inside your hinge. Also, the hex nut side goes on the inside and this nut, nylock nut, will be on the outside of your sprinter. You'll tighten it down on your hinges, okay? So you'll get these two plates that go inside and you'll go through with this. You'll go through there, through there, through your hinge. This acts, this acts like a washer. And so basically you're gonna go and take this off here like this. I'll show you where this is gonna go through there. And then that is gonna go into the back inside your hinge and that's going to stick out the outside of your sprinter hinge and you're going to put this nylock on it same thing for that one too so then you have these four things they're little allen wrench heads the allen wrench heads are going to go in the plate this plate is fastening to your frame mount that your your first you frame mount in the plate. This plate is fastening to your frame mount that you're, you're, first you frame mount, you mount the frame mount to your sprinter and we'll go through that on the other video. But basically I'm just gonna go through all your nuts needs. This side up, you'll see the hole on the bottom that faces down. You don't wanna turn that upside down. It'll mess with you. You see these array of holes here, these three, Right here, this triangle is for your 2500. You see these four? These four are for your 3500. So if you have a 2500, focus on this triangle right here. What you're gonna do is take these long nuts and long carriage bolts, I mean, with their nylocks on them. You'll see a nylock and you'll also see a flange nut, it's a bigger, rounder one. That'll be on the outside holding your tire onto the plate. This will hold this bolt onto the plate. So what you'll do is on the back side of your thing, you'll run on the back side of your tire carry, you'll push this through the hole and that'll face outward. And you'll see that that carriage bolt will catch that square so you don't have to have a wrench on the inside. Oh, whoops, I put a washer there. You don't want that washer on there. You want it on the other side. If you push it through, no washer, that square will lock into there so you don't have to have a nut on the other side. What you do is you push that through, push your washer here, then you'll take the nylock nut, not the flange nut. You can see the difference here. Nylock, smaller, flange nut. This nylock, you put it all the way on down and you'll tighten this down on there. So tighten that down so it'll stay there. And then you're gonna put your tire on this. You're gonna take this flange nut and put keep your tire on there, your spare tire, okay? All right, uh, first you're gonna have to mount this this onto your sprinter and you have to put that on in the hinges. You put that on and then on the right side here, you're gonna have a hole right here. That way you mark where your hole is. Then you're gonna have to take this back off 
to drill that hole. Then after you drill the hole, you put this back on because you want to make sure it lines up. These are, you know, kind of, they're not robotic made. We're humans and we have a fabulous fabricator, uh, but you know, he's human so he could be millimeters off here. So you're going to want to put this plate mounted on so you can get a mark on the hole so it's right on the nose. And then after you mark the hole, you take that back off and then you can drill your hole and then you put this back on and then you can mount it. Yeah, and sometimes these come already pre-mounted. Sometimes they don't. If they don't, then you just mount those yourself. But that's how you start out. Yeah. <laughs>